I'm in here with a bunch of drunk street gangsters, bro. I'm cooked. One of the dudes that wasn't saying anything in the argument was holding his glick, was holding his glick like this. He was, he was literally just sitting there like this. As he sits down, guess what falls out his pocket? The glick. His glick fall. Remember how I told you he had a glick in his Amiri jean? And guess where it lands? Guess. Guess where it lands? This man's glick with an extended clip drops on my feet. Again, silent drive back home. Till I hear a beep sound. I hear a beep, beep, beep. I'm thinking, oh, that's my phone. I look in the direction of like, the speedometer bro the gas light is just blinking up and i realized nigga you don't have no fucking gas <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be the first video or the second video on this channel. That's up to like future me. He's probably editing this video right now. Um, but enough with the yip yap and blabbering, bruh. Let's get into what y'all here for, bruh. The story time about the worst party I ever went to. Now, I don't mean worst party in the sense of like it was a bad party. I mean it in the sense of like my life was threatened multiple times. Anyways, let's get into this jump. So one of my, yo, my brother, one of my twins, one of my best friends, um, his dad was hosting like some sort of house party. And the reason why I found this out was because I was working one day and I saw him, I was like, yo, pop, what's going on? He, he, he walked up to me, dabbed me up, things of that nature. He was like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna need you. And I was like, you sure you? Fuck, fuck you need me for? <laughs> and he basically said, um, what was it? He said, I'm gonna need you like the day, I think it was the, the, the next day or the day after. He was like, I need you for this little house party, this little kickback I'm doing because you know, uh, your twin's grandmother is in there. So I'm like, yo, I might as well host a house party and things of that nature. And I was like, okay, cool, I'll be there, I'll be there. Dap them up, things of that nature. Now, in my head, this is my first time, at, it, actually, wait, no, I'm lying. This is my first time being, being to a house party. But in my head, I was like, uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm gonna do this. Cause like, <laughs> bro, I, I had to edit later. I had to do a whole lot of stuff that day. So I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna do this. But after that work day, I went back into work the next day and then, I clocked out at like 8.30. So this, this was like perfect shifts, bruh. I clocked out at 8.30, uh, took off, <laughs> took off my work gear, got in my car and drove to the crib. Now, when I got to the crib, uh, there wasn't a lot of, there was like barely any people there, but the party just started and I already saw shots. <laughs> uh the, the the party had an entry sign it was like to come in you gotta drink you gotta drink now adults y'all crazy as shit because <laughs> that's not even peer pressure but that's just that's just some nigga if you come in here you, you you're either drinking or you're getting the fuck out um and his dad had us on like security which is really weird why do you have a bunch of teenagers on security like i I can fight decently for myself, but let let some like big ass nigga come in and he's like, oh no, bro, I'm not, I'm not ain't drinking that shit, and, I, and I'm like, man, you better drink that shit. That nigga gonna spin me like a blade blade and just leave me there. So I get there, um, and I I'm editing videos on my man's uh in my man's room in his on his computer because I I still have some shit to do. I still have some shit to do, and. Once I got that done, we got downstairs, and that's when the people started coming in, bruh. And I ain't gonna lie, that sign low-key worked, bruh. There was niggas in that bitch popping bottles, bruh. Like take taking shots like it's water, bruh. Uh one of my <laughs> one of the people in there grabbed like grabbed like three of the shot cups like this. I'm not throwing up a gang sign, but like they, they grabbed like three of the shot cups like this and just uh chugged them bitches back, like all three of them. I was like, oh. 
I'm definitely gonna have to carry some people out of here, which I definitely did have to. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely did have to carry some people out of there, but we gonna get into that. Uh, people started coming in and coming in and me and my mans noticed, yo, this is like a sausage fest, low key. Where the bitch is at? Where the bitch is at? And <laughs> his dad, look, he came in. He was like, yo, bro, it's like a sausage fest right now. Where are the, where the bitches at? Where the girls at? So I was like, okay, babe, I'm going to call some girls in my phone. My man said he was going to call some girls in his phone. Bro, I don't know why. I don't know what was in that. I don't know what was in the air on that September day, bro. But none of the bitches wanted to come. I was like, damn. And it was like they was all doing something that day. I was like, bruh, oh, come on, bruh. The one time y'all not trying to be outside is the time where I need y'all. So after that, we just decided it was cooked. Uh, There were like, the, the ratio of guys to girls there was crazy. It was like, it was like five niggas for every one girl. And there were only three girls that showed, wait, mm, mm, mm. There was only like five girls that showed up to the party. Two of them looked decent. The The other three were just whack. Very whack. And maybe that's just because I'm young and I'm I'm 18 and I don't find 40-year-olds appealing, but <laughs> they was whack. They was whack. So we was, we was, we was basically cooked. We, we were fucked. I, I, <laughs> but um, I started I start regulating the games and stuff like that. And they start talking, letting the music play. And around the time, this is this is when, this is when one of the main people in this story is gonna come in. I'm not I'm not gonna give him like a name. We just gonna call that nigga. You don't call that nigga peg leg. That shit that that's just gonna make sense. That's just gonna make sense. So peg leg walks in, Cartier shades, Amiri's on the feet. Uh, uh, motherfucker, Amiri jeans. I don't know. He had, he had some sort of Goodfellas white tee on, Cartier's, and he pulled up in a BMW. So I was like, damn, okay, this nigga, this nigga came in here to flex. Little does he know, there's no bitches here to flex for. I'm not gonna lie, you flexing in front of a bunch of grown ass men. You might be gay. Um, <laughs> but he comes in, and um, minutes later, uh, one of my friends who was there, he was like, yo, you see, you see the dude over there with the prosthetic leg? I was like, fuck you mean prosthetic leg? The nigga was like, oh, bro, the nigga with the dreads and the Cartiers. I was like, he has a prosthetic leg? He was like, yeah, but that shit. <laughs> he was like, yeah, but that shit Louis Vuitton. I was like, what? <laughs> a Louis Vuitton plastic... <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, nah, he tripping, he tripping. I actually looked it up. That shit is real. That shit is like five bands though. Yo, that nigga must have wanted to be dripped out of something, bro. I'm, yo, five bands for a Louis Vuitton prosthetic leg. You, yo, catch my ass, yo, catch my ass. But let, let's, let's get past and get into where this story gets hot and heavy. You know what happens when a bunch of adults get drunk. <laughs> Niggas start arguing. The first argument that happens is between... Oh, yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. It was, it, it was my man's dad and some other... I forgot what his name was, but he had waves, bro. They start, they start beefing, beefing. They start, like, on some, like, imagine another man is right here. They, like, face to face, like, oh, what? What's up, nigga? What you gonna do, nigga? What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm really. What's up? What's up? Like they, they, <laughs> they was, they was really on that, bruh. And I was looking at this shit like, bro, I'm in here with a bunch of drunk street gangsters, bruh. I'm cooked. I'm cooked, bruh. And th that's what I forgot to tell you, bruh. The a lot of these niggas had pole on them. Every single person that was in that jump had pole on them. And none of these people were from like the area where the party was at. All these people were either from DC and I I I ain't talking rich DC. I'm talking um you you know what type of DC I'm talking about. And then either that or they just moved out of, or they just moved out of the hood. So it's a bunch of street cause in a party with no duty. I, I guarantee you if there were some duties there, if there were some girls there 
everything would just cease and calm down, bro. Girls, I don't think y'all understand how much power y'all have, bro. Y'all can make a room go crazy, or y'all can make a room settle down, bro. Y'all have y'all have too much power that y'all don't even realize. But they start arguing and shit, and like niggas start pushing each other and shit like that. And these are two big grown ass men. I'm I'm not doing shit to I'm not doing shit to back these motherfuckers up. I'm not gonna lie. I, if, if I try to do one of these and try to be like, no, God, stop it, stop. I'm yo. Yo, there. I'm gonna. I'm gonna end up on first forty eight, bro, and, and and not on the receiving end. I'm gonna end up on first forty eight. Like they're literally gonna be doing an inspection on my motherfucking body. <laughs> but they start bickering and arguing, but not nothing really settled. Um. But the the next arguments were fucking crazy. So, um. I walk out with my man because, you know, he, he walked out before me and he was outside for a little bit and I was trying to, you know, help him, help him and console him because it's like he's seeing his dad in real time, you know, low, low key, a little, a little sauced, a little, a little drunk. And this, this party has low key turned into a, into a shit show. And it's, it's only been like two hours in. It's only been two hours in. So I walked out with him and I was like, yo, bro, you good? He was like, yeah, I'm good. We do our handshake and shit like that. Uh, and I was like, all right, but I'm about to go back in. He was like, I'm about to go back in too. We go back in and it and it's just an eruption storm of arguments, bruh. You had uh there was a girl arguing with the with the peg leg nigga, right? She was like, I don't fucking trust you. I don't fucking like you. You know what the fuck you did. Uh, nah, 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 nah. And I'm just walking in like, hey, yo, yo, whoa, whoa, Jamal, don't pull out the nine. I'm being dead ass, nigga. Don't, don't, don't pull out the nine. A lot of these niggas had G22s. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But she's yelling. She's like, I don't know, nah, nah. like you, you, you piece of shit. Like I, I don't fucking trust you. You know what the fuck you did? And he's sitting there like, what the fuck? What, what the fuck did I do? You don't even know me. Th th that's one of the, that's one of the things that scares me from drinking alcohol, bro. She. She she just had a judgment on a nigga and didn't even know what the fuck he did. <laughs> and she was just like, man, fuck you, you piece of shit. She she got up all up in his face, got all up in his grill, and I ain't gonna lie, Peg Leg nigga, if you watching this, I'm happy that you stood your ground. But there were a couple times where I thought he was gonna swing on this on, on this hoe. I'm not gonna lie. There was a couple times where I thought, yeah, I'm gonna have to like I'm, I'm gonna have to get out of here before shit get critical, before shit gets serious, <laughs> before shit gets serious. Um, but they they get done arguing. Uh, his her her friends like kind of drag her out. She's like, no nah, man, fuck. You. She like she she's getting dragged out the room, but she's like, oh no, fuck you, fuck you, you piece of shit, you da 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 da. Like yo, she she's just she's just she's just throwing words, bro. She's just straight throwing words out, bro. And this, this is, this is definitely where, where the party starts to get a, a little more serious. Because after this, um, I mean, his dad starts arguing with like his best friend. And then that turns into a group argument. And then I see his dad, his best friend, and then a group of like six other people go outside. And I knew it was clip right there. Cause these niggas. Bro, they were arguing so loud you could hear it from inside the house and they were outside. Like, and when it when it's a group of six people, and when it's a group of eight niggas, and they all arguing and they all mad, that was the first thing I was thinking about. So I was checking outside periodically, making sure niggas wasn't pulling out nothing. And one of the things that had me scared was the fact that one of the dudes that wasn't saying anything in the argument was holding his glick, was holding his glick like this. He was he was literally just sitting there like this. Not even saying nothing, bruh. That is the people you gotta watch out for. The silent nigga, the silent nigga was literally just sitting there, glicking his glicking his pocket, ready to bust something. And that jump, that jump had an extended clip, bro. So if he wanted to, he could go back in the house and grrr. So when I saw that, I was like, yeah, nah, I need to get out. I need to. I need to go. And then one of the, one of the friends that uh my man's bought, she was drunk as hell. So <laughs> she was drunk as hell. Um, 
N- nigga, niggas was was basically cooked after that. My like, we we had to have somebody walk walk her home and shit. Like, she she was already saw us, so we we lost one of our members that was supposed to be helping us with this damn party because she got too fucking sauced. Uh, I was in a room trying to help her, and she was like, she was like, oh no, you're trying to fuck me. I was like, what? She was like, oh no, you're trying to fuck me. I don't want to fuck you and. I don't know. I'm sitting here like, yo, I'm trying, yo, okay, let me, let me tell you how it was. We put her on the bed so she could calm down because she was sauced and drunk and she, she was moving like deep and, and things of that nature, bro. Yo, I'm at the door. The door is right here. The bed is right over there. I'm at the door just, just making sure, like, just making sure she doesn't go out like, oh, no, nah, you're not going out and stuff like that. She, she's on the bed talking about some. Oh, nah, you want to fuck me? You want to fuck me? You want to... Uh, nah, 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 I don't want to fuck you. You're ugly as shit. Nah, nah, nah. I'm like, yo! I'm not trying to fuck you at all! I don't give a fuck if you think I'm ugly or not. I, that, that has nothing to do with me. I'm just trying to make sure you cool. I'm at the door. I'm at the door. She's on the bed. I'm at the door just standing. NPC style, just like this. Just like that. I'm not even trying to move a muscle or do nothing, bro. My man comes back in after that, and, and, and he's like, oh, is everything good over here? I was like, bro, do not leave me in a room with her, bro. Do not leave me in a room with her, because she was talking about some, oh, yeah, he's trying to fuck me. He's trying to fuck me. Bro, when, when, we, when we got her out of the room, she yelled out, oh, he's trying to fuck me. I'm like, bro, what? What, bro? Like, yo, what? what is this girl, the fucking... What is this girl, bro? The, the, the fucking allegation all star, bro? The allegation assailant, bro? Like, come on. Like, I, I was I was getting so cooked that day. And then after after we help her out, and then one of my friends takes her home. <sighs> um my man's dad and uh the peg leg dude, which was I think his cousin, something like that, they start arguing. And um, he's like, and, and he's like, oh nah, bro, I'm going, I'm going to sit down and shit. I'm going to sit down. As he sits down, guess what falls out his pocket? The Glick. His Glick. Fa- Remember how I told you he had a Glick in his Amiri jeans? The Glick falls out his pocket, and guess where it lands? Guess, guess where it lands? Guess. Guess, guess, guess where it lands. It lands on my fucking foot. That, that. This man's glick with an extended clip drops on my feet. Now, yeah, my man sees me staring at the glick on my fucking foot and he's just like, hey, yo. Like he he starts busting out laughing, and you know you know this peg leg nigga says this nigga doesn't say oh are you okay he doesn't say oh are you alright this nigga says oh the glick the glick the glick the glick bro if that shit jammed or hit me or something it would have that nigga didn't even ask if I was okay bro he was like oh the glick the glick I grabbed the glick and gave it back to him I could have blew his brains. <laughs> I could have blew his brain. <laughs> but I didn't. But I didn't. But I didn't. Because I'm not that type of guy. I'm I I don't I don't shoot kill nobody, bro. I'm a suburban dude. Anyway. After that, it was just a whole lot more arguing and people's names getting called, people's mothers talking out of line. It it was crazy. Uh then <laughs> then in in a weird turn of events. My man's dad started dropping some game on me and telling me like, "Oh, bro, you, you the, you the leader of this shit, bro. Like, you, 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 you need to lead my son, bro. You need to lead my son because you're going in a good direction. You don't drink, you don't smoke. You're going in a good direction. You just need some guidance, bro. If you need anything, anything, let me know. I got you. If you need anything, let me know." And I, it felt like he was talking real shit, but at the same time, I was like, "Is that him talking?" 
or the hen dog talking? Is that him talking or the Casamigos talking? I I don't know. I don't know. But you feel me? Uh, after that, we played Jenga. Uh, but the party was basically a bust after that. After all the arguments, people started to leave like crazy. And the house was kind of tarnished. And it was, it, it was a lot, bro. It was a lot. And after that, like, when, when, we, when we went back up to my man's room, bro, it was just silent for a couple minutes. It was just silent, bro. We just, we didn't know, like, what to say or what to do. And then also, when I walked back downstairs with my friend to take him home, uh, <laughs> yo, my man's dad got on some, like, religious, don't talk about some, you have demons. Look at the demons around him. You have you have demons, and then he was also talking about Malcolm X. That's how I knew Shh, that was that was the hen doll of the Casamigos talking or something or something. But after that, bruh, the the story doesn't end here, bruh. After that, I drive my man's back home, and when I drop him off and I'm driving back to my crib, it is just a silent ride back, bro. Like I don't know what to do, what to say, like bro. I had to I had to split up a bunch of grown men from fighting. I had a glick fall on my hand. I had a glick fall on my foot, bro. Um, I had to take a couple of people to the liquor store. I had to like it was so much stuff I had to do, and like I I, I literally had allegations of like me trying to fuck somebody when I wasn't. It was crazy, and then to make matters worse. I leave my wallet at the crib. So I have to I have to go back there and get my wallet. And I think I left my keys too, bruh. I get all that stuff and I'm like, bet now, now I can just drive back home. Again, silent drive back home. Till I hear a beep sound. I hear a beep, beep, beep. I'm thinking, oh, that's my phone. I look in the direction of like the speedometer, bro. The gas light is just blinking up. And I realized. Nigga, you don't have no fucking gas. I was like, bro, there's no way I'm this cooked. There is no way I'm this cooked. I have no gas. Barely any money for, I mean, I have money for gas. But it was like, bro, fuck. So I go to the 7-Eleven. I'm like, I'm going to just get some gas here and there, things of that nature. I told him to put 25 on it. And then... Guess what happens? Oh my god, bro! Oh, this this is when I thought like, bro, like, God must have not been fucking with me this day, bro, because I put my card in and that shit doesn't work. I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, let me put it in again. It doesn't work. Put it in again. It doesn't work. I use Apple Pay. That shit tells me to put in my pen. It doesn't work, bro. I was sitting there with that guy for no joke, fifteen minutes, trying to figure out. How to like, and it just didn't end up end up working. So I was like, "Fuck, bro, I'm yo, I'm driving my car really slow back to my crib. I'm like, bro, I don't even know if, I, if I'm gonna make it home, bro. I'm over here praying to God, like, bro, I don't know if I'm gonna make it home, bro. Texting my sister, like, hey, if I don't make it home, um, I'm in the neighborhood, but like, things of that nature, like, bro, it was just crazy. And then once I got. Once I got back home, bro, it, yo, it was one of those times where it was like, I didn't even take off my clothes to fall asleep, bro. The clothes that I had on, bro, I literally took off my New Balances and hopped in the bed, bro. I couldn't even, I don't think I could even fall asleep, though. It was like one of those nights where it was like, you were, you're tired, but you like, you just couldn't fall asleep, bro. And... I stayed up until six, fell asleep, and then I went to work the next day. That's the story about the worst house party I ever went to. Um, if you could take anything away from this story, uh, shit, have fun, but fuck. <laughs> uh, for one, make sure your car is filled with gas at all times. Two, if your party doesn't have any tooties and it's a bunch of grown ass men there. There's going to be fights. There's going to be arguments. And someone might even get shot. Um, And I, I don't know. 
I'm not saying I'm never gonna go to a house party again, but this situation low key opened my eyes to like, damn, is this really how house parties are? Um, and this wasn't even a big scale one, but it's been your boy Marzo. I love y'all so much, and I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.